Drinking alcohol every day for 10 years causes lasting damage to your brain, life, finance, stomach, and digestive lining. A person who gets drunk every day for 10 years isn't necessarily an alcoholic. It is very likely but not guaranteed. The term alcoholic is a sign of an addiction to alcohol. Just because someone decides to get high every day doesn't mean they are faced with an addiction. If you're an alcoholic, then you are one for life. It's like smoking, you might be clean but the urge is still there. The urge is always there when it comes to abusive substances, but you can choose not to succumb. It takes plenty of willpower but gets easier over time. Yes, our brains, as addicts are wired in a certain way. You need to take conscious efforts to rewire them. I believe in healing, but the power of the mind is amazing. It is able to heal and repeat itself as well. I am HO and in my personal experience, you will always have the mind of an addict and are prone to crappy thinking. You can shift it, adjust it, focus it, but without monitoring or 12 steps or mental health or accountability, you will slip off the tracks at some point. Or you will live as a dry drunk. Not using is not sober. So, is drinking alcohol every day for 10 years good? Of course, it isn't. But being an alcoholic has got nothing to do with what you drink, or even how much of it you drink. It sounds weird, right? Stay with me. When an alcoholic has a drink, it triggers a phenomenon of craving. It is possible for us to sidetrack this in the short term, but it will almost always lead to drinking more than we intend to. We constantly find ourselves in places we don't want to be, staying longer than we wanted it. It sets an unbalance in our lives. Instead of summoning the courage to deal with it, we try to use more drinking to bury it. We suffer great losses, and that too triggers more drinking. We lose jobs, family, friends, and driver's licenses. Before you know it, we've got an ex-wife slash husband, ex-kids, an ex-house, and an ex-dog slash cat. Our way of dealing with this? We keep burying ourselves in drinks. Then we lose some other stuff, our self-respect, our health, and possibly our mind. Our response? More and more alcohol. If we keep going, at that rate, we will eventually lose our life. This usually takes much longer than we could hope for by then. It is a painful miserable death. A person of this type can stop drinking alcohol, but they are an alcoholic for life. One drink will kick off that progression again. An alcoholic will forego their goals and responsibilities so they can keep drinking. A heavy drinker is able to regulate their drinking to serve their goals and responsibilities, without suffering the disastrous effect. Here's how do to test to see if you're an alcoholic or not. Try this little controlled drinking experiment. Have half a glass or have one can and see if the craving stops. If it stops, you aren't a drunk but if it doesn't then you may need help. Now, how long will it take to die if you drink 20 beers for 11 years every night? Not too long. It takes a toll on your brain chemistry, and you become an unreliable irresponsible, depressed drunk. Getting drunk on alcohol consistently is not healthy or great. Depending on genetics and overall health, you may live till age 55 or less. Quitting alcohol drunkenness takes a lot of willpower and tremendous dedication to break the addiction. Good luck. Now, is drinking till you're buzzed every night considered being an alcoholic? It depends on your definition of the term drunk. If by drunk you mean blackout falling over passed out and drooling drunk, then they most certainly have a drinking problem. If, however, by drunk, you mean by having one or two cans or bottles of drinks to unwind or with a meal which makes them legally drunk but not incapacitated, then probably not. There's really no other way to say this. Normal drinkers with normal functioning brains have a cutoff where they don't exceed their limits when enjoying a libation. The alcoholic, on the other hand, will drink until there is nothing left to drink, seek out more, and continue drinking until they are completely obliterated. Some normal drinkers can enjoy the better part of a six-pack of beer. Alcoholics can't stop at just one drink. It sets off a reaction in the brain called by some folks a craving, and they will do anything to ensure that they will keep that booze going. While that first drink or four might feel comforting, if they're not able to keep it up, they'll get jittery and feel odd, and the only way to get rid of that feeling is to pour more booze on top of it. Normal drinkers don't experience this. 
they get dizzy, feel ill or become sleepy and stop drinking. Let's take a look at a common question we often get, would you die if you drank beer and no other liquids? No, you won't die. But your life will slowly deteriorate before your very own eyes. You remain alive but won't be able to live. Water is the healthiest liquid out there. Have good, clean water on a daily basis to get the best of your life, daily. Oh. Eat healthy meals with lots of veggies too. Lastly, does drinking a 12-pack of beer 5 times a week lead to death? Not immediately, anyway. But it would decrease your life expectancy, significantly. For a really big guy, your life expectancy might be decreased to a lesser degree. While skinny guys might experience a cut in their life expectancy by half. That's to a greater degree. For someone with a more average build and or constitution, this would probably lead to cirrhosis of the liver if continued for 10 or 20 years. So, it would tend to hasten death. But it wouldn't kill someone quickly. Was this video helpful at all? Kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel.